Okay, everybody. Hello, Andrea here with Soul to Fit, and I blog over at SoulToFit.com. Welcome to my channel. I am doing a review of a pair of pants, and it's been a while, so sorry it took me so long to get back to you guys about this, but I am really happy with how these pants turned out and you'll see a picture here these are the coolest only because the fabric that i purchased from so much fabric i barely feel like they're on but i wanted to show you these are the pants i have little tiny pockets in them but this is the pattern the pattern is berta 6636 okay this is this pair of pants two pair of these made out of this ponty knit which I'll show you close-ups right here basically two pair of pants burgundy and black and 14 days in Italy maybe 13 days in Italy I wore these two pair of pants I took a pair of gray ones and and one pair of jeans and I have to tell you that out of those I think I took two pair of jeans because I knew when I went to Rome when I went to Rome, I knew that those pans would not be good after that because of the dust and I heard about the birds and everything. And so I took one pair of pants that I knew I wouldn't probably wear again because we were moving around so much that I wanted to make sure that the pants I did have stayed clean or could be washed real easy, real quick by the hotel staff or whatever if I was in the hotel long enough. But let's get to the pant pattern. The pant pattern is uh, a really nice pattern because it has the seam down the front and it has these small pockets in the front. Now, and you'll see me with my hands in the pocket right there, but I just want to show you how these pants pockets look. They're really, really tiny. And then the seam down the front of the pants See if y'all can see that really well. The seam down the front of the pants actually runs the full length. And I did these pretty much on the serger. And I know y'all know I'm notorious for not changing my... <laughs> I'm notorious for not changing my serger thread. So <sighs> that's the way it is. But the way I fitted these pants is... And again, I'm going to send you to another link because if you see in the show cards above... I'm going to show you how I fitted those pants in the show cards. And it really goes into detail how I use my sloper, my pants sloper, to fit all my pants. Sometimes, once you do all of this work and you draft a pair or, or you draft something for yourself, you don't want to have to redo it over and over and over and over again. You want to have one major draft that you know is perfect for you. And then you can pick up any pattern, any commercial pattern, anything, and you can use your sloper and make it fit. So that's what I did with this pattern here. I literally took this pattern and overlaid my sloper to get an idea what changes I need to make to these pants for them to fit like you see here. And so I would encourage you to do the same thing like you know the show cards i tell you you can see that i can't make mistakes once i get this perfect the first time and i can quickly make any kind of pants i want so basically what i did to these pair of pants this pattern is i actually i narrowed the legs because they were kind of wide so i narrowed the legs so that they would fit me the way my other gray pants i have which i bought ready to wear uh, from three, three fourths all the way down at the seam, in the inseam. And then I also narrowed the back leg at the inseam. So what I did is I actually made the legs kind of bow out from the inseam more in the back and in the front. And then in the front, I actually shortened the crotch length based on my uh, sloper pattern. I, I front. I shortened the front crotch two whole inches. <laughs> That's a lot to have to shorten your pattern in the front. So that means that this section here, from the center front, if you can see that, 
from the center front down to that curve, I literally took out two inches before putting on the waistband. And look at how low that is, okay? But you can see that it is the same as my pair of pants finished length with the waistband is what I wanted. So that is something to keep in mind. Now, the way I made these pants here, I made these pants to not have a waistband, which means I want the top of the pants I made here to sit right at my waistband. And I mean, right at my waist. So I took that into consideration with what I wanted and how I wanted these pants to fit. Now look at the color of this fabric. This is insane. I don't even know what to call this color, but it's on right there. Okay, just read right there because that's what color this is. Oh my God, Mer Merlot. That's what this is. It's a Merlot. Look at how beautiful that color is. Okay, so moving on, I also shortened the legs at the knee by two inches. So these were some long pants. So I shortened the crotch. And then I only shorten the crotch in the front. Now, some people think you shorten the crotch all the way around and then you make adjustments in the back and all that stuff. To me, I shorten the crotch in the front and then I let it go up in the back. So basically, it's coming from here and it's starting to go up, which means it graduated to a different height at the side seam. And I graduated it up to half an inch at the side seam to match the back. And then I actually added an inch to the center back to go over the caboose. <laughs> so those are the changes I made for this pattern, which is Berta 6638. So I shall see you guys later. Like and subscribe to get more updates on SodaFit.com and learn more about all the tutorials that I offer you guys on this channel here. See you on the next one.